It's interesting in, in Matthew 18 where uh, the children, people are bringing children to, to Jesus to touch them and bless them and the disciples try to shoo them, the little children away and Jesus says, no, let the little children come to me for the kingdom belongs to such as these. And I think that, that there's a kingdom gift in most things, in things that we otherwise think are uh, distracting or burdensome or intrusions. I think there's a kingdom gift in them. And so I would say, and one of the things that my wife and I did as pastors is we tried to uh, discern what is a kingdom gift in the phone call that interrupts a Sabbath practice and somebody that really needs a pastor to come. And one of the things we did talk about in the broadcast is that Jesus' favorite day for restoration and healing was a Sabbath. So it may be that God's inviting you into some of that primary work that he loves to do in the Sabbath. And so that shift of, of thinking about it and that discernment for how is God actually inviting me into an experience of him at the center through this what's ever going on. Um, the second practical thing I would say is it was really important for me as I began to practice Sabbath to discern what were external pressures and what were internal pressures. And by that I mean what are the things that are, are um, that I can't control, that I can't help, they're just sort of built into the structure of the ministry or the job and their demands on me, they're coming from outside into my life and I would be you know, lazy or irresponsible or whatnot if I if I didn't attend to those demands. And uh, in contrast to what are those internal things, those voices in my head saying, why are you lying there, so-and-so needs a visit in the hospital, etc. And when I did that, uh, it would vary from season to season depending on how old my kids were and what was going on at the church at the moment. But I would find almost invariably the internal pressures to, to do something were greater than the external pressures. And so I say that because it, it, for me, I had to sift through and say, um, do I have a taskmaster in my head? Did, did, did one of Pharaoh's taskmasters somehow come with me across the sea and into the promised land? And am I listening to a voice that really is part of this conspiracy that I might have with Egypt or the, the larger culture that has nothing at all to do with God's call on my life, but it's got something to do with my own anxieties and my own need to perform, et cetera, et cetera. You, got, you understand. And so for, uh, for me, and I mean, I'm, I'm wired differently than any of your listeners, and so there may be people listening into this and they can say, yeah, you know, 98% is external. I got a board that's path pathological or psychopathic or whatever. And, um, and, and a church that just doesn't know when to stop, etc. Um, but for me, it was, it was a necessary exercise on an ongoing way. And then, because I can deal with, uh, at least I can, I can and it's a different spiritual discipline or a different set of disciplines to deal with those internal voices and pressures than trying to manage or rearrange stuff in the external. Hope that makes sense.